What's up guys, I'm Cal, Red Zone Rogue, and welcome to a Force of Will Mail Day. So in this series, maybe maybe it's going to be a series, I'm going to go over uh, what I'm buying and why. I'm going to show you what I'm buying, tell you why I'm buying it, and maybe give you a little glimpse of what kind of videos I'm going to be doing in the future because I might be using some of these cards in here for those videos. I post about these usually on my Twitter. Um, and if you're not following me on Twitter, go ahead and follow me on Twitter. I tweet about, like, Force of Will, video games, all that kind of stuff, because I'm really into, you know, card games, video games. But without further ado, let's crack these open, and I'll show you what I picked up. Um, these ones were not cheap. So I have this first package here. I'm going to be cutting out any of the information. Alright, uh, let's fast forward through this. It probably has some of my information on here. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is the first thing that I picked up, the Dusk Girl. AKA Scarlet the Crimson Beast. I bought this from a TCG player. Basically, I picked these up because, well, um, you probably saw my luck with the Time Spinning Witch. I got all starter deck rulers out of all three of my boxes. Didn't get a single um, new ruler. So I figured, you know, I'm going to pick them up. Who knows when the second print run is coming? If a second print run is coming, they put some tape over this, uh, this bit right here. Let's take out the card and look at it and. In all of its glory and I, I figured you know what I might as well just go ahead and buy a corrected one once again this was not cheap I paid like 40 bucks for this I think probably one of the most expensive forceful cards I've ever purchased but yeah I, I really wanted to make a deck with the desk girl and you know expect to see one of those in the coming um, weeks days who knows anyway let's open up the other one and I'll show you what I picked up that one is a, a sizable more of uh, what more cards basically Alright guys, so here is the second bunch that I got. I got all of these through TCG Player. They put this... God damn, they fucking put so much tape on this. Hold on. Give me a second. Alright, I finally got all the tape off, and as you can see, I picked up another Time Spinning Witch J Ruler. This one is Princess of Fleeting Hope, aka Not Lumia, aka Imul. Um, I picked up a lot more other cards, but let's go over this one first, because this is the one I am most curious about to see if they got the order correct. This is in a, it's like a fancy, fancy sleeve. This is probably the single most expensive Force of Will card I've ever purchased. Um, she was like 60 to $70. Let's see, alright, so we have this side, and nice. I'm very glad TCG player can be trusted. Then it gave me like a misprinted ruler on accident or something like that. This is a very nice pickup for me. Um, I basically own one of every single J ruler in the game, other than like Valhalla rulers, except for these ones. Why? Because these ones were so hard to get and they're like so expensive. Um, I'm so glad to pick this one up. Once again, expect another, or expect a deck video for this card uh, in the near future. Basically, that's the reason why I haven't done a lot of deck videos recently. Um, I wanted to do videos on the Time Spinning Witch Rulers, and you know what? I didn't get any of the new ones from my three boxes. So, um, yeah, this is what I'm going to do with these. And Imul is gorgeous. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited to do this. It's a pretty pretty good condition. It's still textured. I've heard some people say that the, the print qualities on some of these ones aren't as good. Or they feel cheap. Eh, a little bit. A little, they, they feel a little bit thinner. They feel like second print runs of some of the other sets. Like, I have a second print run Fox, and he feels kind of like this. But anyway, let me show you the other stuff that I got. I got some other pretty cool stuff. Alright, so I also picked up some of these. This is a uh, Demonic Captain Elios. There should be four full art ones. Yeah. Um, pick this up for a couple reasons. One, I really like the art. And also, I really like the card. I want to make like an Angels and Demons style deck. Maybe an Epic Stories Angels and Demons deck. We'll see how that goes. I don't know if there's enough of the Angels and Demons to make a deck like that. Um, or enough rulers that are themed to, to go like that. I think Imul could be a good um, one of the rulers for the Epic Stories deck. But I digress. Uh, this card is pretty cheap um, and has great art. So yeah, I picked up four of these. I also picked up some promo Wall of Wind. A lot of the cards here you're going to see are either full art or promos. Um, just pimping out my collection. Should be four of these as well. And this is just a fantastic Wanderer card. Uh, it's basically a for, uh, Force Spike if you play Magic the Gathering. It uh, cancels any spell unless the caster pays an additional one of any. And um, yeah, once again, just a fantastic 
uh, Wanderer card, and these aren't too expensive right now, the promo versions, and I do plan on making some more Wanderer decks, and I'm going to be jamming these in there because Wind is very powerful, and this is a pretty good cancel spell. Alright, and finally I have this big old pack of everything else. Um, let's see what I got. I don't remember exactly all the stuff that I got. So we have a couple different bundles here. So the first bundle has uh, Morgiana, the Wise Servant. Uh, this is a incredibly powerful card in Wanderer. So much so that it is banned, which is why I was able to pick these up for like 50 cents each. I should have had, yeah, I should have a full playset of these in here. Um, basically I picked these up because um, they're cheap and they're really, really good in Wanderer. Obviously really good in any format that's legal, so like uh, Epic Stories. And um, I just picked these up just in case someday they become unbanned in Wanderer. It's just a fantastic card, and the promo version is really, really sweet. So yeah, grabbed some of those, and then I also got a promo Shayla's Elite, just to have it. It's one of the promos I don't have. It was pretty cheap, so I figured I'd pick it up. As well as this Darkness Magic Stone with the Caster Chronicles artwork. Once again, it's super, super cheap, so might as well pick it up. It was less than a dollar. Probably 50 cents or something like that. And then for the final bit, once again, a lot of these are just going to be like, I picked up the promo because it has cool artwork and it was pretty cheap. So that's the case of Rainbow Arrow. It was like 70 cents or something like that. I didn't have one already. I love the artwork on it. It is really cool and it was super cheap, so mine as well. Ooh, this is one that actually has a function. The Seal of Wind and Light is one of the best cards in Wanderer, in my opinion, or one of the best cancels in Wanderer. It's incredibly powerful because, you know, it cancels any spell. And it has this, if you pay an additional Moon Will, which there's a decent amount of Moon Will going around in Wanderer. Players can't chase at this card, so it's basically an uncounterable counter spell, which is really sweet. And I picked up a full playset of these. Um, it just can't be beat. They're pretty cheap, or pretty uh, inexpensive, I should say, and a great addition to any collection, especially if you're paying, playing Wanderer. I also got a one of these promo Final Battles, because the original Final Battle art is... Not good, uh, but this one is awesome. This one is very, very cool, and I wanted one of these for my IU deck. So I'm jamming this straight into my IU deck, replacing the other one. Um, yeah, can't go wrong with uh, the final battle. It's, it's a pretty good card. I'm pretty sure I underrated it when it first came out. Um, it's a lot better than I thought. Ooh, nice, I forgot I got this one. This is a Makage Sisters, once again. I picked it up for, you know, pretty obvious reasons. Also because I didn't have one, and also because it wasn't too expensive. So, yeah, I mean, if you bargain hunt, you can get some pretty nice stuff for not not too much. And then finally, I have this promo, Valentina, Maiden of the Ocean. Um, it's a really cool card with a lot of like stuff going on in the artwork. We have Valentina, Alice, um, Priscilla, who got Charlotte, Kaguya, Zero, Feet Sing, Faria. Yeah, got Soul, Lapis, Mars, uh, Milium falling asleep. I think I named all of them. But yeah, pretty cool. I like this card a lot. Um, it's not like a good playable card, but it's just a really cool card that's just going to go straight into my uh, my like, like promo binder. All right, guys, so there you have it. That is my first um, mail time video for Force of Will. Just showing you what I'm picking up and why I'm picking it up. Giving you a little sneak peek of what I might be doing in the future. Obviously, we have Imul and Scarlet here who are going to be featured in deck strategy videos in the future. I'd like to get those out sooner rather than later expect them in the next couple weeks before i want to do it before spoilers for the next set start coming out but uh you know time willing i'll get them out as soon as possible without further ado i hope you guys have a fantastic day i hope you liked the video maybe leave a comment like subscribe anything like that let me know what you are picking up in the future and i will see you next time